Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Are you worried about the constant high cutoffs for express and redraws? And are you struggling to keep up with applicants with really high CRS scores? There's been a huge increase in the number of applications IRCC receives each day, resulting in these high cutoffs. And getting a high CRS score is really important right now. Today I'm going to tell you how you can increase your CRS points for the Express Entry program and I've explained 6 methods in detail which will guarantee an early ITA for you. Do know that even a single point increase in your CRS score can make a huge difference to your profile. Some of these steps won't take a long time but will impact your Express Entry profile by a great deal thereby increasing your chances of getting an ITA for permanent residence and fulfilling your Canadian dream. In this video, I'm going to tell you all the factors that are used to calculate your CRS scores, the points offered for each factor, what you can do from your end to increase your points in each factor, how to create your Express Entry profile absolutely free in 15 to 20 minutes, and whether you should create an Express Entry profile with a low CRS score if you're eligible to. So do watch the video till the end. Hey guys, this is Jason from Dream Canada. If you're new to the channel, I show people how to save their money and immigrate to new countries through my videos without the help of any immigration consultants or agents or lawyers. You can find all the process instructions for you to apply on your own through this channel. Subscribe now because all the information provided here is completely free and I answer all your queries in the comment section and on my social handles on Instagram and Twitter. So don't forget to follow us there as well. You can even get in touch with us directly via WhatsApp on the number shared on the screen. Let's start by understanding what CRS scores are and how it affects your Express Entry profile. The Comprehensive Ranking System or CRS is used to rank skilled worker candidates who want to immigrate to Canada through the Express Entry program which includes three separate programs called the Federal Skilled Worker Program or FSWP, the Federal Skilled Trades Program or the FSTP and the Canadian Experience Class or CEC. Each of these three programs have eligibility criteria that a candidate must meet before being eligible to apply. Now what elements affect your CRS score? Your CRS score is based on your age, education, language skills, work experience and ties to Canada like your relatives or previous study or work in Canada. If your CRS score meets or exceeds the current cutoff in any express entry draw that are held every second week, you will receive an ITA or an invitation to apply which allows you to make a complete application for your Canada PR by uploading all your documents, submitting your biometrics and paying the necessary visa fees involved. Coming to what factors make up your CRS score? Your CRS score contains three factors which are core human capital factors, skills transferability factors and additional factors. Core human capital factors include your age, level of education, first language ability, second language ability and Canadian work experience. Age is one of the most influential factors in your scoring grid. If you apply between the ages of 20 to 29, you'll receive the highest possible 110 CRS points for your age alone. A candidate can score a maximum of 500 points under core human capital factors. A maximum of 100 points are given for a candidate's skill transferability factors. There are 5 combinations of skill transferability with a maximum of 50 points for each combination. They include education and Canadian work experience, education and language ability, language ability and non-Canadian work experience which would be your work experience in your home country or anywhere else in the world, Canadian and non-Canadian work experience and certificate of qualification in a trade or your trade certification and language ability. Under the additional factors category, you can get a maximum of 600 points out of which all 600 points can come from a nomination certificate from a Canadian province alone. This by itself essentially ensures an invitation to apply in an upcoming express entry draw. Other factors that increase CRS scores in this category include having a qualifying job offer or arranged employment from a Canadian employer, completing a Canadian study experience, providing adequate French and English ability and having a sibling in Canada. There's a total of 1200 points available under the CRS scoring grid. For candidates that are applying alone without an accompanying spouse or common law partner, there are a maximum of 500 points available for core human capital factors, a maximum of 100 points for skill transferability factors and 600 points available for additional factors. For candidates applying with an accompanying spouse or common law partner, there are a maximum of 460 points available for core human capital factors of the principal applicant 
a maximum of 40 points for the core human capital factors of the spouse or common law partner, which would be the secondary applicant, a maximum of 100 points available for skill transferability factors, and 600 points available for additional factors. In both cases, you can get more points for a French speaking ability and if you have a relative related by blood in Canada who's a Canadian citizen or permanent resident. Now that you know all about the scoring factors, let me tell you how you can actually improve your CRS scores. Keeping in mind that you can't really change your age, the easiest and most effective way to change or rather improve your CRS score is with your language test. Even a slightly improved language test score improves your overall CRS score by a huge margin. It can be worth up to 310 CRS points when combined with other factors and up to 320 if you are applying with a spouse or common law partner. Since a language test can be taken whenever you're ready and can be completed in just a day or two, this is the fastest way that you can improve your CRS score. Getting an additional education credential is also another way to increase your CRS score because it can count for up to 250 CRS points. For instance, a candidate can improve their points allotted for the education section by completing a master's degree if they've completed a bachelor's already, a PhD if they've completed their master's and so on. Obtaining additional work experience or getting the proper documentation for your previous work experience can be a way to increase your CRS score as well. Candidates sometimes use a job title that seems unskilled, but they may have actually performed duties that are considered skilled under Canada's National Occupation Classification or NOC. So simply changing this in your Express Entry profile and getting a work experience letter that proves this can ultimately increase your CRS score as well. Another common mistake that people do is they don't compare their CRS score with the CRS score of their spouse or common law partner. Ideally, you should both calculate your CRS scores separately and the person that has the higher CRS score should apply as the primary applicant as they would have a better chance of being selected for an ITA in an express entry draw. Getting a Canadian job offer can also increase your CRS score by 50 to 200 points depending on the type of job offered to you. You can find your job offer using popular sites like LinkedIn, JobBank, Indeed or through your references on networking in Canada. I've uploaded a detailed video on how you can get a job offer from outside Canada. Do have a look at the important websites and tips and tricks mentioned there that will help you get a Canadian job offer quickly. Finally, if your CRS score isn't too high but your job role is in demand in any one of the provinces of Canada, you can get a provincial nomination which will give you an additional 600 points towards your CRS score. These additional points by itself will guarantee that you're picked in the very next Express Entry draw. Now should you enter the express entry pool even if you have a low CRS score? The answer is yes, you definitely should. Creating an express entry profile is absolutely free of cost and since the CRS cutoff scores are always fluctuating, even if you think that your score is low right now, it may eventually be enough to secure an invitation to apply for permanent residence in the near future. While you're already in the pool, you can even use any of the methods I mentioned before like gaining more eligible work experience or retaking a language test to increase your CRS score and once you update your details or update your language test scores in your existing Express Entry profile, you'll be eligible to get an ITA with your new increased CRS score. Moreover, while you're in the pool, you may even be able to obtain an ITA for provincial nomination from any of the province or you could receive a Canadian job offer which may give you a high enough score to obtain an ITA for permanent residence. Your Express Entry profile will be valid for a period of one year, after which you can create another one as well. To know how to create an Express Entry profile for free in just 20 minutes, do have a look at the step-by-step -step demonstration video mentioned in the description box. Through this video, you'll get to know the exact steps to follow on each page on the IRCC website, how to create a profile for a single person and with your spouse, and exactly what to fill in each section of your forms as well so you're not confused at any stage so do have a look at that video as well alright guys so that was how you can increase your CRS scores for more immigration and travel tips subscribe to this channel now to like this video if you like the content and comment what topic you would like to hear about next thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe for regular updates on immigration and don't forget to follow us on Instagram as well I wish you the best of luck for your application and hope you have a great day